So I have a package here, and it's a fairly large package. I can feel it's kind of soft inside. These are probably some sort of air-filled sacks or something to protect what's inside. You know, let's just open up and see what's in here, right? And as I suspected, there are some bubble wraps, but as you can see through it, it is a GB Boy color. Now, I'm not sure if GB stands for Game Boy or not, but if it does, it'd be pretty funny because it would be Game Boy Boy Color. But here it is in its full glory. Now, what is this? It's obviously a Game Boy Color clone. And this 66 and 1 probably designates that it's got 66 built-in games. So, uh, let's let's take a look. I mean, I, I, I bought this because I saw it advertised when I purchased some... XXX and one game cartridges that I uh, you may have seen some of your videos for already and So I got curious about this so I figured I'd pick it up and see what a GB boy color is all about so let's go ahead and take it out and Initial thoughts are is that it looks a heck of a lot like a Game Boy Color and It does have a cartridge slot so that means that it can take games but before we do that Let's compare it to an actual Game Boy Color. And so you can see here that uh, they're roughly the same size and have similar features to each other. Right, let's take this out of the bag here. So I'm going to try to see if I can get a better view at this, but it's tough. So this is the GB Boy, but it's... Oh, it does have a film over the skin. Okay, I was going to say, man, it's already scratched up. It's very similar to a Game Boy Color. Obviously, the buttons are a little different. And they can't completely copy the design fully. It's slightly larger. Uh, the screen, in fact, might be a little bit larger, but not by much. Look at the back. Again, it's similar to a Game Boy Color. And it uses two AA batteries, so that's good. Now, when I... Went on and, and saw this, you know, they had uh, different colors. They've got these three clear colors. They had purple, green, and blue. And since I already had a purple Game Boy Color, I figured I'd get a blue GB Boy Color. But they also had solid colors, yellow, green, and purple. They're calling it blue. I think it's more of a purplish color. I don't want to get a solid color. I like the look of a transparent plastic, so. And this is made by Kong Feng. So definitely one of those Chinese clones. Let's, uh, I wonder if that serial number is actually real or if they're all the same. I'll have to find out. So let's, uh, let's get some batteries in here, put a game in here, and see if it can play actual Game Boy games. So I picked three games. I picked a Game Boy, original Game Boy game, Mega Man. I picked Centipede, which is a Game Boy Color game, but it can also work in Game Boy mode. And then I picked a, strictly a Game Boy Color only game, and that's, uh, Legend of Zelda Oracle of Ages and we'll see how each one plays on here so we'll start with the obvious one we'll go with a Game Boy Color only game backlit screen and standard Game Boy Chime well, that's kind of neat can't tell if the graphics are stretched out or not though sound seems to play okay I'm definitely liking the fact that it's uh, backlit. We'll have to put this game into the regular Game Boy Color and see if we can't uh, see if the screen is stretched at all or not. But it does seem to at least play. So that's Zelda. Let's take a hybrid game. Kind of wish I had a Super Game Boy game to see if it would show Super Game Boy enhanced colors, but considering the Game Boy Color itself doesn't, it probably not. In fact, it wouldn't surprise me if they didn't just take a copy of the Game Boy Color BIOS and just modify it a little. It does seem, though, that the screen's refresh rate does not match up with the cameras. So there's a very little bit of a flicker on screen. But as you can see, it does seem to work. And it is in color. It's 
Okay, so that works. Now let's try a good old-fashioned Game Boy game, and I don't have any doubt that this will work. I'm just curious to see if it will show it in color, what kind of color, and things like that, so. So this one is choosing a blue and green based color palette, whereas I think the Game Boy Color chooses like a peach purple based color palette. And there's also, but there does seem to be separate colors for the Robot Masters. And it's actually possible that, no, I take that back. I think the peach blue color is for Super Game Boy. In fact, let's find out on the regular Game Boy Color if that's the case or not. Of course, I gotta take the batteries out because I didn't bother to get a separate set of batteries because I'm totally prepared for this. I mean, this thing just came in a few days ago and I wanted to let it sit because it's. I got this during the whole world situation that's going on. So I'm gonna have to just let it sit out for a little bit and disinfect it, you know, to be safe. So since my Game Boy Color is not backlit, that's still pretty visible. Oh, no, see, it's the same palette, roughly. Bluish and green, the Robot Masters are kind of in pinkish. So that means that it's more than likely, if, if it's not a direct copy of the Game Boy Color BIOS, it's a darn good clone, at least in terms of uh, its feature set, but is it reliable? And I don't have any reason to doubt, but at the same time, I just started playing this thing, I don't know, a minute ago. This is literally the first time I've tried this, so let's go ahead and just, we'll go back into Mega Man and try it and see what happens. It's been a while since I played the game, so I can't say for sure if I'll actually beat it or not. But I just want to see if the controls are responsive or if there's anything else wrong. Doesn't seem to be any lag. No lag or anything, so that seems to be okay. Kind of impressed so far. So it said 66 and 1 on the cover, but there's also a bunch of Jap uh, Chinese text, so I can't read Chinese, and I don't feel like going through Google Translate. But I'm willing to bet that there's 66 and 1 games built into here. So, and yeah, there we go. Now, are these actual Game Boy games, or are these... I mean, these seem to be Game Boy games. Let's look at Contra. I believe that was uh, the reboots. Go straight to the game, okay. And it's using the default palette of blue and green, fine. And it's the Japanese version of Contra. I believe this was basically uh, Contra Alien Wars, but for Game Boy. So this is probably just a ROM that they downloaded off the internet. Yeah, I believe this is just Contra Alien Wars, so... so that restarts the game, but it doesn't restart the whole console as in the ROM list here, so... Oh, look at that. How do I get back to the menu? It's going straight into uh, Contra. Hmm. Okay, so you gotta leave it off for like a minute. Mario Land is probably Mario Land. Resets. And it's got the custom Mario Land palette that the Game Boy Color would do. Now, for those that aren't aware, the Game Boy Color will show black and white Game Boy games in some sort of color fashion. You know, like, it'll put four basic colors. However, there were specific palettes built in for certain games. They were almost all Nintendo games, I believe. So if you played Mario Land, Tetris... Uh, the original Link's Awakening, not the Game Boy Color remake. It would have certain color palettes in there, kind of akin to the Super Game Boy for Super Game Boy enhanced games, except these were not enhanced games at all. The uh, color information was built into the unit itself, into the ROM, or the, the, the BIOS itself. So this seems to be copying that. So uh, that's why I'm wondering if it doesn't just have a copy of the Game Boy Color BIOS in here with their own 
branding. So let's try another game, Donkey Kong. I think that was a super Game Boy enhanced game. And I think that that's how the Game Boy Color derived the colors. Kind of wish I had this game so I can test it on an actual. But. Yeah, this is using almost like it's using the Super Game Boy palette, but it's like I said, I haven't played the original. Especially on the, on the game, original Game Boy Color, so I can't tell for sure. But it does look... Uh... Let's try another game just to see. I wonder if there's another game on here that's Super Game Boy enabled. Donkey Kong Land, if they have it. I don't know if it's on here or not. Of course, a lot of these games are kind of going to be ROM hacks or duplicates of each other. Like, don't be surprised if you see like a Super Mario 4 on here or anything. So there's Centipede. Hang on, because I've got that game. Let's see. Let's see what happens here. Nope, it is not... An enhanced the enhanced version so this must be the original game I can't no buttons are doing anything for me here could it be a bad image could it uh could the unit already be broken let's see I wish I could I oh, can go backwards I wish I could just go page to page Dr. Mario it was not a super Game Boy game but they may have an enhanced palette in there for so it does it in blue, just blue it all straight up, but Mario has some color to him, so. So, this seems legit, you know? I mean, the 66 and 1 part is probably not legit. There's no way that they have the license for it, just like some of the other multi-carts that, I don't know if the videos have been out yet by the time you see this or not. But I did pick up some other multi-carts, and again, it, they're cheap. Like, this cost me about 40 bucks shipped. So, from China, mind you, which means that either they're doing free shipping or this thing here is like $10, 20 because it's not that cheap to ship stuff from China unless you're buying a lot of stuff. But then again, maybe they have some special deals worked out. I don't know. But the 66 and one thing that there's no way those are licensed so whatever but the fact that it can play original cartridges very well in color i i, I can't really knock the product itself again it is probably like a 99 percent hardware clone i'm sure there's something about it that isn't quite accurate like maybe it's running at a full 60 hertz instead of 59 point whatever the actual cpu of the original game boy and game boy color we're running at i don't recall at the at this time but if you don't care that it's not an original game boy color because you can buy mods for this you can buy replacement screens to put backlights on them even just to replace the pretty okay screen on here with something better if you don't care about that and just want a game boy color to play this is not bad this is still preferred but this if someone were to give this to you this isn't one of those gifts where you hug him and say oh thank you and then toss it out, you know, or try to flip it on eBay for five or 10 bucks. This is something that you can keep and use. And, you know, it's, I, I will say this, this is definitely better of a hardware clone than the Hyperkin is for the, the, the Hyperkin Retro N HD is for the NES. Now, granted, again, it gives you HD compatibility with that, but it is still not as good as this is a clone to this. And I know this is not an FPGA, basically. There's no way. And this, and I don't believe that this is an emulator either. I'm pretty sure there's hardware in here, almost like a Game Boy on a chip or something like that. And I don't know, maybe I'll do a follow-up to this where I open it up and tear it down and see what's inside and compare it to the original Game Boy Color. I mean, even the PCBs are white. So they copied that much. Now, the headphone jack here is a separate board that Nintendo put in, probably because it was just cheaper just to buy these pre-manufactured whereas on here it's integrated into the actual circuit board itself 
Maybe I'll do a teardown and a, a follow-up just to see what's on the inside. But, again, I, I, I can't knock knock it. It, it. it seems to be a pretty good quality Game Boy Color clone. If you just wanted to pick this up, go for it. So, this is not a sponsored video, by the way. I did buy this all on my own. And I just wanted to make sure you guys know that because I am saying good things about it. I want you guys to think that I'm being paid by them. I'm not. So, you probably don't even know I'm making this video. And speaking of video, I hope you liked today's video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't yet, feel free to subscribe. If you didn't like the video, give it a thumbs down. But please leave a comment below as to why so I can try to make improvements for future videos. Thanks all and I'll catch you later.